Thanks, Mama. Hey, what's up, everyone? And Joe. So it's Joe Mama for the intro, anyways. Yeah, I'm going to play my Xbox. He just got the controller, so. Yeah, boy. Plus, when we had already pre-recorded this episode. Boys and girls. Joey had done the whole last episode, episode 8. So, who's it? So let's continue on with the game. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Nevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is. The competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yeah. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. Mm. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games, but it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines, which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Huh, seems like Hadrian's trying to make sure we all know who's boss. You always did catch on quick. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. So do you want my chair then? We've got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Oh, smells like it too. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I know. And I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset. Especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Speaking of my friends, have you seen them lately? No, nope, sorry. They're like probably in the mines. And that's on me. Such bad karma. Bad karma. I will never 
do that to one of your friends again because <laughs> I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like one, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. Good, they should pay attention. Well, um, I don't know if Tim was that full of himself. Seems a little hubristic, don't you think? <laughs> Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? Hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I'd gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round and make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round! If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will! <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. It's like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Wooden plank, solid. Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? Oh, hey, know where the nether portal is? Yeah, it's right over that way. <clears throat> uh huh, there's our nether portal. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat? Wait a minute, you are the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't look cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face meat has time, that is. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, their face meets bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meets watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meet. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well... Now that you mention it, Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime, you see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat will think about getting your friends out. Hey, Jesse. Finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. 
totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just stinks that all this has to be part of it. I just hope we can get home soon. I'm a little creeped out by the people that run this place. Let's keep trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. Wow, they were focused. I must really want to win this thing. if I can attach this sign to your head. <laughs> it's so nice when new contestants are in the village. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow or will have? I guess I should ask around. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. So if you don't mind... Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fish it out some respawns inventory after he... It's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess, you want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here, and... Hey, don't get too steam. Maybe we can make a deal? And Slayer, the Immovable! Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. Sir, yes, sir. Holy wacko! Jesse, what can I help you with? No, I mean, seriously. I mean, anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Well, actually, do you have any extra food? Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. before anybody sees us. <sighs> Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, bra. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? No. 
another? <laughs> Why can't I take down that peach? I want that peach! That peach! Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Oh, nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Loafage? That means bread. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Okay, peeps. Wait, I saw a few wood planks by the dojo. Right on. Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Okay, peeps. Now I'm going to play my game. R.I.P. headphone user. <laughs> so Joey's uh -uh. happy update for Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Well, what had happened was, I had just bought. Oh, you can do the mini. What does it say? But we had, we had the uh, Minecraft on the, you know, on the desk, and um. It got scratched beyond playable status, so we weren't playing it for a while. And then I just bought the online version so that no matter what, even if we, you know, lose the Xbox and have to get a new one, we can still record it. So I um, downloaded it. Make sure autosave is off. I know you want to go in there and blow up my statues. Just make sure Auto World is or Auto Save is off, please. Auto World, yeah. Auto World. But right, like two weeks after I had bought the game and we downloaded and everything, we ended up giving our one controller to Missy, and then we couldn't find the other one. So finally, yesterday, we did get our controller. So now Joey's gonna be able to. Check it out. Back to the story. Catch you later, yeah? Yeah. Let's talk more after we find Lucas and Ivor. Sounds good. table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello? Hey, face me. Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mmm, it's so warm. Please get my friends. 
<laughs> Face me appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and... I did what I had to do. Well, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh. Response. Uh, Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh... You don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry. We're just in this tournament where if we win, we get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh, well, that's better than I thought. But if we lose, we'll be mining for quartz forever. Thanks, Petra. Nope. That is not a thing I want. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. Lucas, I'm sorry, we can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. Oh, I didn't think he'd come back. Hey, now! I said he would help. That's why we're here. Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. I can feel change in the air. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point, but you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. It's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Sleep, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and, of course, about our plucky newcomers. 
shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna go. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom. Surprise locker room visit. Ah! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm not gonna be in your twisted interview, Hadrian. Get out of my face. Oh, I'll get out of your face. But I'll be laughing at your face from my nice cushy box while I watch you burn. Oh, I promise you that. Nothing. Listen up, bucko. These are supposed to be games. These are supposed to be fun. So play along. I sincerely hope that we understand each other. Oh, I'll be playing all right. Playing my way. Oh, well, we'll see just how far your way gets you. Spoiler alert, probably not very. Ominous much? So try to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but, uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. And you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew. An enemy of my enemy is my friend. And might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Oh, come on, Em. You expect me to believe that? What are you up to here? Nothing, honest. It's just watching you negotiate with Hadrian, trying to get home. It inspired me. Made me want to go home, too. Yeah. We should be working together. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay, too. I'm going to stick with my team, and you should stick with yours. Fine. I'll do that. Competitors, to the starting line. See you at Gladiator Junction. We don't need them. They'll just hold us back. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking and all-around awesomeness. Give them all you got, Petra. I've been waiting all day for you to say that. It is a total bummer that we are not going to be able to, you know, work together. Sorry, you. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. Okay. Going to lose now. I still think you're awesome, though. Competitors, on your mark. Get set.
Joey wanted to see, show you what happens when you die in the lava. Get set. Go! Get 
watching guys it will pick up the next episode right there where we left off with them jumping down as you can see right here on the screen that's why i deliberately left it just like that so that you could see it <coughs> in fact as soon as i'm done with this i'm gonna start recording again so it's not gonna skip a beat anywhere but thanks for watching guys if you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Next to it's the notification button. Hit that. You'll know as soon as we post any videos. And if you are a new subscriber, let us know down in the comments and I will give you a shout out or Joey will give you a shout out in a future video. Is there anything you want to add to the end of this uh, video, Joe? Because it ended, and I had to put a, I have to put a, because when I went to, uh, Okay, Geeks. If you don't subscribe to Fox Gaming. I can hear you. Then. I will tell him next time I go over there to give all of y'all a shout out. Does he do videos too? Yeah. Oh, he makes videos too? Yeah. So I will leave the link he doesn't really do to because he needs better stuff to do. What does he do? Just vlogs like? Yeah. Okay, so he's a vlogger right now. So that's Top Gaming, right? Top Gaming right here? Fox. Oh, Fox. I, from here, it kind of looks like Top, how my spelling is. Look, T-O-P, because the X has the little, look how I have that. Yeah, it kind of looks Yeah. Nice. Okay, so it's Fox Gaming. So I will leave a link to his description, his channel, down in the description. I'll get it eventually. 
And shout out again to Fox Gaming. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.